Hey Taurus, welcome to Turn Heal. Welcome to the place where we empower the high vibers. I hope all is well. Welcome to your collective reading for whenever you watch. Okay. All right, let's go. Why did my voice get so high? That was weird. All right. <laughs> we have reflect on your truth coming through. Oh, did I say the prayer? I come to you, humbly God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that we need to know? Okay. Uh, so we have half faith, reflect on your truth, make necessary sacrifices, and then begin to explore, correct your mistakes. Okay. Build on solid ground. All right. New foundation, new foundation, new normal. That has been, oh, sorry. <laughs> that has been a theme that has been coming through here about the new normals. That's like a collective theme right now. Um, but yeah, this, in order for you to get your new normal, which is is definitely new territory that you are being it, you're being led to expand into um it's uncomfortable that's it's definitely uncomfortable and you are gonna have to have faith here it is a leap of faith because it does require you <coughs> to let certain things go in the past <coughs> leave it in the past oh gosh I just feel all types of distracted and frazzled once I got into this energy. What is happening here? I feel like you might feel this level of like chaos. Like what is going on? Why isn't this working out the way it used to? Every time I, I used to go to the same store, get the same jerk chicken, and now they changed the recipe. What happened? I go to this other store and I used to get the same um, brand of peanuts and now they don't have it, right? It's like everything seems to be changing around you and you don't like it, but it's a reflection of you changing, okay? Your spirit is changing, okay? Ultimately, that's what's happening. So look at these changes around you. It, whether you believe it or not, I mean, it is a meta, it is um, uh, uh, a spiritual um link to your connection because you are what you're seeing is a reflection of your internal world so even if you're not making those connections and connecting the dots not a problem just take this reading as it is when you're seeing these changes shifting around you and it's not because of your own doing just know that this is kind of a metaphor here for what is happening with you and your need to go with the flow here all right all right i don't know why i felt the need to spell that one out that was okay all right um there might be a need to spell it out because i know no offense but y'all know yourselves all right y'all know y'all be y'all be stubborn with it okay y'all know it all right so don't you know what i mean um don't add me about that um but yeah that's how i felt the need to spell it out like yeah you are seeing changes happening and also there's a change in you baby like go ahead and, and um understand that eight of wands movement quick movement see that's the thing oh gosh tower yep all right listen you trying to sit here and act like this tower ain't happening you sitting here trying to act like these changes ain't happening like things ain't falling apart uh, the beautiful thing about things falling apart is that new things come together now the thing is if you can't see the new things come together it doesn't usually happen sim simultaneously you just see the things falling apart and you're like what the fuck right but yeah, it's all types of conflict and resistance to it. You're going to have to go through this process of what the F, why is everything falling apart? And then go through that, that process of rebuilding. We all go through it. This is called an ego death. Welcome to yours. All right. Um, but yes, yeah, so we have that eight of wands coming through. It's moving fast with or without you. It's like life is about to bulldoze. You, you can either get out the way let it happen or you could try to get in front of the bulldozer and try to stop it which you know that ain't really gonna happen it's just gonna make things more painful um but you it seems like somebody's trying somebody's trying to fight it off all right <clears throat> it's for your own good baby okay it's like when your parents tell you eat your vegetables i know you don't like it i know it doesn't feel good it's not as good as candy okay fine it's, it's not taste it's fine but your body is going to appreciate having these vegetables. This is the thing. The universe is saying, look, this ain't going to feel good. It's a little annoying. It's a little uncomfortable. But you are going to appreciate. Trust me. We see where this is going to lead. Trust us. You know? All right. So that's what's happening. So we have the, the lover's card coming out with the knight of cups in reverse. We do have the moon card coming through as well. This is all that's happening in the background. Things are aligning out. Oh gosh. Whoa. You don't even know. Okay. Baby, you don't even know. Like you don't even know what's happening here. <laughs> 
you don't see how much. See, all you're seeing is a tower. All you're seeing is a ah, free fall. My world is falling apart. That's all you're seeing. You're not seeing how much things are changing and growing and expanding and preparing for you. How your new reality, what you don't even know what it looks like, and you don't know how much of that is already being built in your favor. If you knew that, you would you would let things go. You would allow this tower to happen. You would allow things to fall apart. You would be you would have more faith. You wouldn't be as stubborn about it. But because you don't see the reason for it, you're like, what's the end game? You're fighting. Um, so you're being called to ask faith to have faith. Ask for faith. Pray for it. Pray for the strength to go through this moment. Um, pray for the strength to rebuild with the Hierophant coming through. I feel like you are um, getting this intuitive guidance here. I do feel like that. You're not completely blinded to it. I think it's a matter of just being stubborn. But even though you know what, what the inevitable is, you're just putting up a fight. All right? So with the Lover's card coming out with that Knight of Cups in reverse, that Knight of Cups in reverse is like, Something that you're working towards or working on, it felt like a soul path energy, but it's like, it's not even, it's not giving what it's supposed to give, you know? Like, that Knight of Cups coming out in reverse is more like, it's, it's just feeling like an inappropriate type of situation. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's just not doing it for you, baby, okay? That's what I'm getting, and and you're trying to hold on to it, but that's what's coming out, like, the, the the thread has been pulled and you can't put it back in. It's just going to keep unraveling. You can let it unravel quickly. You can help the universe pull it and move it along quickly. Or you can just try to push it and sew it by hand not even not even using the needle and thread you out here trying to take this thread with your with your finger and try to put it back stuff it back into this this sweater that is already just unraveling allow it to unravel all right you don't have to quicken the pace but just allow it to unravel and understand that this whatever is unraveling in your life right now it is a sacrifice for bigger and better you might, you're not going to see it like it's bigger and better right now. But trust me, it is bigger and better. You're being called to have faith. Okay? You don't even know. Okay. Yep. Three of swords coming through. Knight of Wands. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, someone feels like their world is falling apart a little bit. Okay. I mean, if you feel like your whole world is falling apart, if this is like family... I could see why you'd fight for it. Definitely. I could definitely see that. I can understand that. Um, but ultimately, if because that Knight of Cups is coming out in a verse, it's kind of feeling like, <sighs> how do I put this? Because now it's feeling like a sensitive situation. And I want to word this correctly. Give me a second while I take a sip. Whether it's family or not, it's inappropriate. Straight up. Okay? That wasn't soft at all. And I tried. I tried to. It, the sip didn't help. Okay. Um, but yeah. Whether it's love or not, it's not hidden for you. You're carrying a heartbreak in this situation. And you're arguing to keep this heartbreaking situation in your life. Okay? I feel the need to really cut through the fat here. And not fluff this up and just really give it to you straight. You're arguing to keep a heartbreak in your life. Temperance card coming out in reverse. If it's upright, that is you um, allowing for the divine to move in your life. To If you... If you <laughs> oh, yeah. I just had that conversation. <laughs> just had that conversation about that. that um, stop saying the prayer about the removals. Like you pray about... Hey, remove the people from my life who ain't good for me. And you thinking you just talking about friends and then you see family and close friends and your spouse and them getting moved. And you're like, wait, hold on, hold on. I didn't know there was a part of this removal prayer. You know, something like that happened in there, okay? Anyway, so we have that five of swords. It's certain people that's not, they, they not. If you want to, if your intention right now is to keep people in your life who are good for you, then let it happen. 
let the people move out who's supposed to move out and let the people move in who's supposed to move in right now you are fighting against your own prayer all right Is it Ten of Cups coming out in reverse? Yeah, Two of Wands, the Empress card in reverse, World card, Queen of Swords in reverse. All right, some of you guys, this could be a mother figure. It could be the mother of your kid. It could be your wife. It could be um your own mother. Okay, whatever the case is. All right, like I said, whatever the case, family or not, is there needs to be some distance in that situation. All right, that's what's coming through there. It doesn't have to be that. This could be a boss. This could be a boss. Um, but what I'm getting here is an energy of, what is this? This is like a feminine energy that is not, first of all, they're not trying to change. They're unchangeable, at least when it comes to you. That's what I'm getting. Um, I feel like um, talking to them might be like a brick wall. Um some of you guys, this is a mother and the relationship might be, might be, um, uncomfortable and it might not be healthy. Um, now the, this is going to be a spectrum here back to being sensitive. This doesn't mean that you have to be estranged from this person. It just means that you guys should not for your own health. You cannot be as close to them as you once were. You cannot have that much. Um, they can't have that much access to you. Because I'm not getting a healthy dynamic. This is a, the external energy here with this Empress and the Two of Pentacles. The fact that the Two of Pentacles is coming out in a verse, what is given is that they're not trying to change. They're happy with exactly who they are. You're carrying this heartbreak and they're fine. They're fine. I'm going to go into that. Um, we do have the Queen of Swords coming out of reverse. Some of you guys, you have to come to this conclusion for yourself. This reading might just start um, helping to um, just start tapping on that, on that truth a little bit for you. Some of you guys are questioning why this relationship, whatever this connection is, because this is definitely about, it definitely feels like it's about a person. Wondering why the foundation is falling apart and the uh, there needs to be a moment of truth that comes through where you realize that it's falling apart because this person is no longer working for it or they never have, whatever the case is, that's going to be different. Instead of seeing that truth, they might actually be blaming themselves like, oh, then I need to do this more. Maybe if I get some flowers, maybe if I change my tone, maybe if I lose some weight, maybe if I suck in my gut, maybe if I start eating vegetables, maybe if we go on trips, maybe if I watch rom-coms, you know, whatever the case is, this person, whoever this is, is not seeing the truth of the situation that this person just isn't working for, they're not putting in the effort to make this work. They're quite content with being the receiver. This is unfortunate, um, despite your pain. Now, what I'm going to say here, so I'm not completely villainizing this person. I just want to make sure, I'm just going to throw this out here. If you're sitting, if you're on the receiving end of this type of energy, have you let them know how heartbroken you are? It seems like this is your internal energy and you're not letting them know that you're not feeling good. Are you giving them a chance to actually do this? I don't know. Maybe you did. Um, but I think we all have these moments in relationships where you realize like, oh, things will never be the same type of thing. And, you know, things can, it, it can be, that could be true where things can never be the same and then it, it separates or it can be things can never be the same and then we become brand new, right? A brand new version of who we are at this point in our lives. But either way, communication needs to be had here, all right? Um, someone is like suffering in silence is what I'm getting, all right? Let this empress know how you feel because I feel like this empress, I don't know. They're, they're, they're comfortable where they're at. They feel like everything is cool. Um, 
or or they're ignoring the heartbreak that you're feeling so there needs to be a uh some type of conversation here okay so all right but you need to honor your truth okay you need to honor your truth you're not feeling good in this and spirit is seeing this and they're like Look, this ain't this ain't contributing happiness to your life. You can sacrifice this. It's it's okay. And you're like, no, but I need it. But they're like, do you really need this hurt? You need to, you need to feel this pain. Is that what you're asking for right now in these streets? Um, but yeah, that's tough. All right, why is this coming out here? Oh gosh. Okay. All right, um, you're not, all right, somebody's not seeing this shit clearly. I'm sorry. Somebody's not seeing this clearly, and we're going to end this reading here. Um, but I'm going to say this, because we have this, I just told all this mess about this person, and they're, they're not really reciprocating, and blah, blah, blah. But for some reason, see, there's something, I don't know, do, do they feel entitled or does this person who's on the receiving end feel lucky to have them? It's something like that that's happening there, okay? There's something that's happening. You know, I was talking to a friend one time, and it was like, yes, yeah, so I'm in this relationship, and this guy keeps telling me about all the things that I'm doing wrong. And so I just kept trying to fix it, fix it, fix it. And then one day I woke up and realized, hold on, I keep trying to fix myself, and I didn't even think about how I'm not, my needs aren't getting met. That's what's happening here. This person is you. If this is you on the receiving end of this, um, with the Queen of Swords, you're not seeing it clearly. You're not looking at it from the viewpoint of, hold on, when do I get mine? You're just looking at it like, oh, this person isn't happy. I have to keep pleasing them. And you're not even thinking, you're just stuffing this heartbreak and this lack of fulfillment. You're stuffing it deep down into your fucking soul. Like, and that's why you're not understanding why things are falling apart and crumbling. You just keep working for this thing. They're not working back. You need to pull back and look at this situation like, hold on. Wait, you didn't put, I, I've been, I've been giving ties to this daggone church. You ain't put a damn doorknob on this church yet. You know, I, what, where's all my ties going? Where's all this effort going? Where's all my investment going? I'm investing, investing, investing. I'm not getting any type of return on my investment. Not saying that it's tit for tat, but you know what I'm saying? You should feel reciprocated love. You should you should feel that reciprocated effort in the way that you need it, okay? There needs to be talks about love languages. If that hasn't been said, give them a chance to actually speak your love language. And if they do not put an effort, you know what your answer is, okay? Right now, you're not seeing this. You're not looking at, you're looking at this from a, first of all, there needs to be some self-worth. There needs to be an increase of self-worth here, Okay. Because if you realize, okay, not on some ego, egotistical shit, but if you realize like, hey man, I got it going on. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm a catch. I'm a catch too, right? If you start looking at it like that, then you won't be sitting here sniffing this person's butt, you know, and doing everything at their beck and call. And while they're sitting there being a pillow princess, okay? That's the energy. It's giving pillow princess right now. I'm going to stop this energy. I'm going to stop this talk. Cause I don't want to, I don't know who this is or what this is. And I don't want to sound all disrespectful, but it's giving pillow princess. Okay. They need to get down on their knees and you know what I'm saying? Get ahead too. Okay. All right. They need to fuck back. You feel me? All right. Anyway, see, this has got rough. It got rough. It got rough, but <laughs> this energy keeps coming up. See, it's not, nah, this energy keeps coming up with, with a uh, Taurus. Um, it's something about the sex too. We're not going to go deep into that, but there's something about the sex here um, where you're not getting, you know what I'm saying, the way you need to be, okay? All right, so if that is the case, start there and then try to work on work out these other facts, which are more important than the sex. It's just a matter of lack of fulfillment here, all right? Whew, this is a rough reading. Whoa, all right, well. Send your love. Choose yourself. There's better out there. If God is telling you to move on, spirit is telling you, your gods, whatever the case is, it's for a reason. Stop fighting to keep this heartbreaking situation in your life. Why are you doing that? You deserve more. You deserve better. All right. All right. Well, that's it.
until we meet again, please feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG, Tara Neal. If you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the Patreon link below. 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 Godly. All right. Thank you. Until we meet again, peace.